what CRM should you use? This is maybe the question I get asked more than any other question. Mike Novak from the Novak Real Estate Team. And today I'm going to share with you my personal opinion. I wanna emphasize personal um, on five different CRMs. And these are all different CRMs that we've actually used and that we have some inside knowledge on. Um, the perfect CRM is gonna be unique to what you need, but here are my thoughts on a few of them. First of all, Follow Up Boss is one of the biggest ones. We used it for a while on our team. The pros to Follow Up Boss, it integrates with virtually everything. It's very simple to use and it works well with teams. The communication tools are very, very good in Follow Up Boss. Some of the cons to Follow Up Boss, it, the automated action plans cannot incorporate text messaging. So you're gonna need to bolt something on um, to take care of the texting because a lot of people communicate over text and don't respond to phone calls. You could use Agent Legend or something like that. That's what our team did at that time. Another con to it is the dialer is not awesome. We had connectivity issues a lot with their dialer. You can now dial from one call to the next, which is cool. You didn't used to be able to do that, but they did add that feature. Uh, the task management also on Follow Up Boss is not the best. I don't love the way that it organizes tasks and priorities and everything else um, for the admin side of the business. The second CRM I wanna talk about is Firepoint. Firepoint, some of the pros for that, it integrates to lots of lead sources as well. It is deeply integrated to Ylopo, which is a game changer. If you don't know about Ylopo, send me a message. I'd love to talk to you about it. Um, it also converts pay-per-click traffic really well. The IDX side of the site converts it really, really nicely. And then the CRM on the back side um, is really a full suite of tools that has texting and calling and emails and everything else. The only con that I really have for Firepoint is again, the dialer does not go from one call to the next. It's click to call. So it's gonna call one person, then it's gonna hang up, then you're gonna have to click to call another person. So it's not gonna be a huge time saver for your agents or for yourself. The third CRM I wanna talk about, Sierra Interactive. Our team uses an IDX site for Sierra Interactive. We know their system very, very well. The pros for that, it converts PPC at a very high level and for a very good cost. Um, the back end of Sierra is also really good. Uh, but with that said, it's not the most pretty CRM that I've ever seen in my life. Like the UX is just not amazing. You can do voicemail drops, you can incorporate text and action plans, all sorts of things. The task management's pretty good. Um, some of the cons, it doesn't have a deep integration with Mojo. So if you're looking to plug a three line dialer into it, you may have some challenges um, with that. One of the other cons that we experienced using their dialer is the phone calls seem to always get flagged as spam. We even tried changing the number and all sorts of different things and it still got flagged as spam every single time for Android phones, which we were not a big fan of. The fourth CRM, Real Geeks. We used this when we first got into real estate. It's an inexpensive CRM. Uh, if you're looking for like the least expensive CRM, you can get uh, Firepoint and Real Geeks are gonna be the two that you really wanna look at. Um, it also converts pay-per-click traffic really, really well. Um, and it's also got a really unique and innovative Facebook tool that we really liked and took advantage of. Some of the cons for it, there is not great artificial intelligence on what your leads are doing on the website. Um, so you're not gonna really know what their behaviors are and be able to follow up with them based on that activity. The back end also feels really dated. It kind of looks like a spreadsheet in the back on the back side of it, and there is no integrated dialer built into it. It plugs into Mojo pretty well, but there's no dialer actually in that CRM. The fifth and final CRM I wanna talk about is Commissions Inc. or Sync. Um, some of the pros for that, it is a tested and battle proven CRM and IDX platform. It's really organized um, on the CRM side of things and very robust as far as the capabilities that it has and how you can customize it. Um, there is a built-in dialer for Sync that works pretty well. Some of the cons, it will not let you send text messages to to leads that did not register on the sync site. So if you import a Zillow lead, you may have issues being able to um, send text messages to those people on the Commissions Inc. platform. You're also locked into their lead generation management. That means that if you want to add more leads from Facebook or pay-per-click or wherever else, uh, they're the ones that have to manage it. So you're kind of locked into that cost and you could have multiple people and multiple accounts in the same market competing against each other. Um, it also doesn't really integrate with a lot of other systems. They've got more of a closed API, um, which is something to be aware of. So ultimately, when you're choosing a CRM, I wanna leave you with this. Figure out what is important to you and realize that you're gonna get out of it what you put into it. Um, there's a perfect CRM out there for everyone. It's just a matter of how you build it out and customize it to you. I've done a multiple part series on how to organize your CRM. Definitely check that out. And of course, if you're curious about the Novak team, or learning more about eXp, I want you to reach out to me, send me a direct message.